Great news for the parents, the coaches, and the athletes. The sky's cleared just enough today. Just enough to get out there. It's either a great weekend if you win, you're getting ready for the state semifinals next week, or it's the start of your summer. Scott and Lisa, just head back to the dugout. That's what other teams end up doing when Miranda Runco's on the mound for Mid Valley. She had 14 strikeouts in the first round win, plus two home runs, and she's trying to use her left arm pitching and her bat to help her team advance even further in the playoffs. Runco pitching in the circle, trying to do what she can against this team, Forest Hills. Look at her go in the first inning. The strikeout, that's what she always does, looking good. And then she's hitting leadoff in this game instead of third, and this is why. There it is. There it goes. Just like that, one to nothing Mid-Valley. What can't Runco do? But they're trailing 2-1 to one in the sixth inning. She had a few walks in this game, but her teammates have her back. Madison Kaiser, an 0-2 pitch, not an issue. Comes in to tie the game up at two. Then Courtney Rebar at the plate. Coming to the plate here as Kaiser is fired up and rebar. She'll take it from here, skies it deep, and that allows the opposite field home runs, allows a couple runs to score to give them a 4-2 lead. Mid-Valley with a clutch hit as always, Mid-Valley advances 4-2. Yeah, you can't say enough about these kids. That pitcher did a heck of a job, um, you know, inducing weak contact for five innings, and we just said stay with it, stay with it. Um, although it wasn't showing, we were having better at-bats as the game progressed, and, um, you know, our, our seniors there at the end, they blew it open there in the sixth, so just real proud of them. Oh, my God, it felt amazing. Uh, I love low pitches. I just drove it, saw my dad out there. He was smiling. I was so happy.